हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द फोर्थ वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ द चैप्टर टाइम एंड डिस्टेंस लाइक द प्रीवियस वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो टू वील बी डिस्कसिंग टू सीमिंगली डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन विद देयर बेस्ट पॉसिबल सोल्यूशंस बट बिफोर वी मूव फर्दर यू आर रिक्वेस्टेड टू गो थ्रू द प्रीवियस थ्री वीडियोज ऑफ टाइम एंड डिस्टेंस इफ यू हैव बाई एनी चांस स्किप्ट और मिस दैम Let's now move forward and take the first question the language of which goes like Gadha Prasad covers a distance with his own speed but when he reduces his speed by 10 km per hour he takes 40 hours more to travel while if he increases his speed by 5 km per hour from his original speed he takes 10 hours less to cover the same distance so find the distance covered by him friends as in this question variations of speed and their respective time differences are given we can apply the concept of constancy we discussed in the first video tutorial of time and distance so let the usual speed of katha prasad be x km per hour therefore reduction in speed would be 10 by x as he is reducing his speed by 10 km per hour in the first scenario therefore the increase in time would be 10 upon x minus 10 as per the concept of constancy and which is equal to 40 hours as given in the question on cross multiplying the terms we get the usual time which will be equal to 4x minus 40 hours let's mark this as equation number 1 now in the second scenario gadha prasad increases his speed by 5 km per hour therefore we can write it as increase in speed b 5 upon x therefore applying the concept of constancy once again the reduction in time would be 5 upon x plus 5 and which should be equal to 10 hours so on cross multiplying the terms the usual time will be 2x plus 10 hours and let's mark it as equation number 2 so we can see that both the equation number 1 and equation number 2 represent the usual time therefore on putting the equation 1 and equation 2 equal to each other we get 4x minus 40 is equal to 2x plus 10 on solving which we get 2x is equal to 50 and therefore x is equal to 25 km per hour now we can find the usual time as well by putting the value of x in either of the equations mentioned above so on putting the value of x in equation 2 we get the usual time which will be 50 plus 10 and that will be equal to 60 hours so friends we have got the usual speed and we have got the usual time as well therefore the distance covered is equal to original speed into original time and on putting the values we get 25 into 60 which is equal to 1500 km or 1500 km and that's the answer so wasn't it simple friends we can also solve this question applying the product of speed shortcut let the usual speed be x km per hour and the usual time y hours so in the first scenario new speed will be x minus 10 as it is given in the question that gadha prasad in the first scenario reduces the speed by 10 km per hour and the new time will be y plus 40 hours which is also given in the question so applying the shortcut which goes like 
S1 into S2 which is product of speeds is equal to distance into S1 negation S2 which is the difference in speeds upon T1 negation T2 which is the difference in time. One thing to note here is that the difference will always give a positive value. So on putting the values in the formula we get x into x minus 10 which are the initial and the new speeds is equal to d into 10 which is the difference in speeds upon 40 which is the difference in time. On solving the equation we get 4x into x minus 10 is equal to d and similarly in the second scenario new speed will be x plus 5 km per hour and new time will be y minus 10 hours so once again on putting the values in the shortcut we get x into x plus 5 is equal to d into 5 upon 10 on further simplifying which we get 2x into x plus 5 is equal to d. Here we can see that both the equations represent the distance travelled. Therefore, putting both the equations equal to each other, we get 4x into x minus 10 is equal to 2x into x plus 5. Simplifying which we get 2x minus 20 is equal to x plus 5. On further solving which we get x is equal to 25 km per hour which is the usual speed. Now we can find the distance covered as well by putting the value of x in either of the equations of distance. So let's take the second equation which is 2x into x plus 5. So on putting the value of x we get 50 into 30 and that will be 1500 or 1500 kilometer and that's the answer. So wasn't it simple again? I hope it was. Moving forward, let's now take the next question, the language of which goes like Pillu while travelling on his bike from station A to B met with an accident 60 km away from station A and completed the remaining journey at 5 by 6th of the original speed and reached station B 1 hour 12 minute late. Now had the accident taken place 80 km further, he would have been only 1 hour late. So what is the distance between station A and B? So friends, before we try solving this question, let's draw a rough diagram to better understand what's happening in the question. So here are the two points A and B which are the stations given in the question. Now Pillu starts his journey from A towards B but at point P which is 60 km away from station A, he met with an accident. It's further given in the question that after the accident, Pillu reduces his speed to 5 by 6th of the original speed and thus got late by 1 hour 12 minutes. Now in this question too, variations in speed and their respective time differences are given so we can apply the concept of constancy here as well. So as given in the question that after the accident, Pillu reduces the speed to 5 by 6th of the original speed which means travelling from P to B, the reduction in speed be 1 by 6. Therefore, increase in time will be 1 by 5 as per the concept of constancy. And this increase in time is equal to 1 hour 12 minutes as given in the question or we can write it as 
72 minutes. Therefore, the usual time in travelling from P to B had the accident not taken place would have been equal to 5 into 72 which is equal to 360 minutes or we can write it as 6 hours. Let's now move forward to the second scenario. From here, the question further says that had the accident taken place at point Q which is further 80 km away from point P. In this case, Pillu would have been only 1 hour late as given in the question. So let's once again apply the concept of constancy here. So while travelling from point Q to B, the reduction in speed is 1 by 6 and therefore increase in time will be 1 by 5 which in the second scenario is equal to 1 hour. Therefore the usual time in travelling from point P to B had the accident not taken place would have been equal to 1 into 5 and that will be 5 hours. So friends so far we have got two key points. First one is the usual time in travelling from point P to B had the accident not taken place which is equal to 6 hours and the second point is the usual time in travelling from point Q to B had the accident not taken place which is equal to 5 hours. Therefore, usual time taken to travel from point P to Q is equal to 6 minus 5 and that will be 1 hour. Friends, we have got the usual time taken by Pillu to cover the distance PQ and we also know the value of this distance which is 80 km. Therefore, usual speed of Pillu will be distance upon time which is equal to 80 upon 1 which will be 80 km per hour. Now we also know that the usual time while travelling from point P to B is 6 hours and therefore we can find the distance between point P and B by multiplying the usual speed into usual time. So on putting the values we get 80 into 6 and which is equal to 480 km. Therefore we can find the total distance which will be distance between A and P plus distance between P and B which will be 60 plus 480 km and in total it will be 540 km and that's the answer. So wasn't it simple? So friends this is it. In the next video we will be discussing some more concepts of time and distance with examples and their best possible solutions. One more thing before I call it a day. Friends, if you find our efforts worthwhile, do like, comment on and share our videos among your friends in your network. And if you want a constant flow of such informative videos, do hit the subscribe button below and boost our morale to create great content for you guys. So keep learning and have a great time.